this is the chapter on state management we have already done in the lecture one reading and writing cookies then we wrote a cookie consent banner then we wrote the same banner with eye tracking consent feature interface this is the built-in interface then we learned the concept of session in the last lecture and today we are learning how to serialize date time into session why are we doing this let me first explain the whole point of today's lecture if we want to store an int and a string into session for that we have these four methods that are available and we have discussed them in the last lecture but if we want to store something else something else other than an int and a string then there is no built-in support for storing that data into session so if we have to store date time let us say then we will need to do something else for storing that and that is the problem that we are trying to solve today we have to be serializing and deserializing and that is why if we have to store a date time into session then we will need to serialize it so that is the point of today's tutorial how to store a different data type the recommended solution by the msdn documentation is that the complex types they must be serialized by the user using json and then they can be deserialized back and that way the whole story can be done so let me explain how do we do whole of this how do we do this for that we will have to write extension methods one extension method will be for set the other extension method will be for get so how do we do this is a static class public static class this class will have two methods one is static void set and the other is static t get so let me explain start with the set method this set method is templated on a data type any data type generic data type and this accepts a key and this accepts a value we use the same set string the built-in set string method to store this data into this key but before storage this data will be serialized using json serializer and then stored as a string so this is the basic thing that has to be done similarly when we will use the get method to read it back in that we can see that the method is static t we'll get t back so as you can expect the key is an input parameter because we are going to read the data against this key and here we write session dot get string the built-in get string method is used to get the serialized string for the data that we that we serialized during the set step so this is the data in serialized form and what we will do is we will deserialize that and get back the data so that data is returned back so the trick is to serialize and then deserialize let me now today take a small project where I'll explain how we can store date time into session variable. Create an empty ASP.NET Core project and open the startup file so that we can make some configurations. This is the startup file that opens and this is the configure services method. The first configuration is for add razor pages so that we can support razor pages. The second is for add session so that session can be used. For that we have as in the last lecture we used a timeout. You could have skipped this also because by default it is 20. Then is essential is equal to true can be set because sometimes the user has not given consent to your cookies for that this will be required so that if the user has not consented for use of cookies in that case even in that case you can use the session because session requires a cookie for storing the session id for what i am saying you should refer to the last lecture where i discussed it in quite a good detail and after that in the configure method of the startup class we will add app.use session so that the session can be added to the middleware and session can be used this is stuffed between use routing and use endpoints but the main point that i'm going to talk today is now this class session extensions this is not the right place to write this class 
I wrote it because I had to teach you, I had to train you out. The correct place is to store this file in a different file. So to store this class in a different file. But let me now uh, explain it. This is the static class session extensions. This is the set method serializer. This is the get method deserializer. So after writing this class, let us now put it to use. This is the pages folder, add a razor page called index and open the backing class so that we can store our date time into session. This is the file that opens and this is the backing class index model and here internal constant string session key name. This is the key that we will use and this is a data member for date time. This will contain the value of the data that we are going to store the data is date time so this will represent the date time that we shall be storing in the session variable in the on get method we will read that logged on is equal to session dot get and this is the date time generic this will now give me the date time that is stored as a part of this key this key and if that logged on is not yet stored if that is not yet stored then I will store the current date time into that logged on and use the set generic for storing that data into this key so that when I come to open the same page the next time this session key will contain that date time and I will display that data on my web page even after refreshing the page now let us display this Come to your razor page and in the h1 tag we have written model dot logged on. This will read that property. If the logged on is not yet there, then a session variable will be created and stored. If it is already there, then the session variable that is read that will be displayed on the screen. So multiple refreshes will keep the same value and that will prove that the session has indeed been saved. You can run the project and check that it does run in the expected way. Thank you.